Yo, what is up guys? Cody here, and today I'm back with some more Injustice 2. Now before we start today's video, I want to ask guys if you could go ahead and please leave a like down below. Let's make our goal for today, two likes on today's video. I would really appreciate it, and it always helps out my channel a lot. And with that said guys, let's get started. So today I am back with another how-to video. Because if you don't know, uh, most of my videos that do well on my channel are how-to's. Like how to get unlimited mother boxes, how to get your character to level 20. I've done all those videos. They're in my channel. If you want to check that out, feel free to. Um, today I'm back with another how-to video. And today we're going to be talking about how to get the best gear stats possible for your character or characters. Um, now, it should be a relatively simple, uh, straight on, you know simple short and straight on easy video um, not too much explanation needed I'm pretty sure most of you already know how to do this but just in case if you don't or if you didn't know or I don't know if you just didn't feel like doing it I guess I'll show you guys now anyways so let's get right into it so if you're playing Justice 2 which I'm pretty sure most of my viewers do you know that you can customize your characters with gear and there are various, various different types of gears and gear loadouts you can create for your characters. That's one of the um, cool things about this game, is that you can customize your character however you want. So, for example, my character Sub-Zero. You see, look at him. Here's one. Here's another gear loadout with the classic Mortal Kombat. Here's another one. And you see, you really see the variation that you can have for your characters, which I think is really cool and it makes Injustice 2 a unique game just because of the gear customization um, for your characters, as you can see. So, if you didn't know that already, <laughs> which I'm pretty sure you did, um, you also know that when you go online, um, there is this, I guess, game mode online called just Versus, um, which basically takes your character and your gear and you fight with abilities. Now there are there are also um, ranked matches which or competitive mode which makes your gear stats not count or your gear not count or abilities you know you won't be able to play with them and it's all just generalized to about the same level. Um, but this is for the you know for the people who play um, obviously versus with gear stats on now if you didn't know gear brings different gear stats and the th four gear stats are strength ability defense and HP so as you can see for example right here on Robin's um, gear you can see that it has zero strength zero ability 226 defense for 41 health and that's pretty much it um, now all characters have like a general um, strength I guess I have like a general strength, ability, defense, and HP. Um, if you have no gear on, which is like, mm, let me see here. See, for example, Robbins is 1,600 strength, 1,650 ability, 1,450 defense, and 1,150 HP. So that's pretty much like the general for someone who doesn't have gear on, which is what happens when you go on ranked. Um, but with... If you go on versus, what happens is that your gear stats accumulate, like they add on to the like regular loadout. So as you can see, for example, let's say this max that I have for Sub Zero has 150 strength, that would add on to the original one right here, which is 1,600, and then you know it would be uh, 1,750 around there. And then it just keeps on adding up, you know. Um, all your gear has different strengths and abilities. And characteristics and all that stuff. And gear stats. So that's pretty cool. Also, you have abilities as well. That play. Um, when you go on versus. So yeah, that's pretty much it. But if you know anything about versus, especially nowadays with the new updates, you know that it's all about the gear. It's not really about how your character looks or what you can do with the character, but about the gear. Because you can have someone that is really 
bad with a character that has over 3,000 defense against someone that has that is really good with a character that only has like 1,800 strength and 2,000 defense and the person who doesn't know how to play will definitely beat the other one just because it will take oops <laughs> just because it would take way too long for um, the other person with low gear stats to beat the person with high gear stats even though um, they're good with the character that doesn't necessarily mean that they will beat someone who has high gear stats now of course there are some exceptions of course like I'm not saying that it's impossible to beat someone with high gear stats when you're really good with a character with low gear stats um, that's not the case at all because it has happened and if you're good with your character there's definitely a possibility that you can um, but moving on from that the like I said before if you're good with a character, you normally want that character to have really high gear stats so you have a higher chance of winning because that's the point of going online is to winning matches and to getting a higher ranking um, globally. So, you get gear, of course, by playing matches, by opening mother boxes, and yeah, that's pretty much the two main ways you get gear. And your gear already comes with gear stats. Now, you might not like the gear stats. For example... Let's see here. For example, this mess for Sub-Zero. If I wanted it to have 200 ability, for example, how would I do that? Like, how would I get it? Now, you can customize gear stats however you want them, unfortunately. But there is a way um, that you can get the best gear stats possible. And that's by, let's say... Uh, Let's open one bronze mother box here, for example. I shouldn't be doing this because I have a mother box opening video to do. Uh, whatever, it didn't come out. Whatever. As you can see down here, down on my screen, I have like this little green um, icon with three arrows. I have 118 of those. You might be asking yourself, what is that? Well, if you don't know, which I'm pretty sure you do, those are regen tokens. Now you might be asking, what are they for? Well... They're, your gear does not get damaged, so you don't use them to, like, regenerate your gear after they're damaged or if you break gear. Because <laughs> that's not something that happens in the game. You use them, ready, here's a secret, here's a key, to regenerate gear. Wow. Cool, right? That's why they're called regen tokens. <laughs> but, you, you, but when you regenerate gear, they regenerate with new stats, with new gear stats. And... Normally, people don't even use this or know about this because, look, if you go to the mother box, um, uh, decoding mother box screen, all you got to do is press RB or whatever it is you use for PlayStation. You just click here and look on the top of the screen. It just says regenerate gear. Cool, right? So let's say, um, I don't know. What should I do? Let's go with a random character. Let's go with Hellboy, for example. My Hellboy is level 20, right? Let's say I want to regenerate this gear. So not only does it give it new stats, but it also makes the gear to the current level of your character. So for example, if this gear is level 1 and my Hellboy is level 20, it transforms this gear piece to level 20. So all you got to do is press A. You regenerate the gear. Boom, look at that. Still not much of an improvement, of course it is only a common gear, but as you can see it did transform to 20, and it has new gear stats, more strength as you can see, which is, um, again, essential, well not essential, well, strength is like really important in the game. And then you can also choose, do you want to keep your original gear or your regenerated gear? You press the one that you want, you press OK, and that's it. As you can see, it has regenerated. And you can do this as many times as you want. Each time you do this, new gear stats come out. So as you can see here, boom, new gear stats come out and you choose the best one. And you can do that for as many times as you want, you know, as long as you have enough regen tokens. And you get these tokens by opening mother boxes, I believe, yeah. Or doing a certain multiverse event. So yeah, like I said, you regenerate gear that you want and do it as many times as possible until you get the best gear stats. Now the best gear stats are definitely 
strength and defense. Those are the top two most important ones in the game. In my opinion, I think strength is a little bit better than defense. Of course, that's not in my opinion. Um, they're definitely not equal. You can ar definitely argue that defense is more important than strength. But, uh, yeah, whatever, it doesn't matter. Then you would have health as the second or third most important. And then you have ability, which is not really important at all. Unless if you want to do amazing damage with your super. Um, but that's not really important. So as you can see here, now of course, if you have, normally if you have a gear that has like 200 st strength, you'll probably have um, like zero defense or zero health on a gear, which really sucks, but that's why you can regenerate it. Um, now of course, you won't always have the highest gear stats possible. Like let's say for a character, let's take Green Arrow for example. As you can see, my green arrow has almost 1,600 health, but, um, how do I say this? Um, but like affecting it, or like, but in return, I have low defense, which is almost 2,000 defense, which is okay, but pretty low still. So you won't normally, it's like really rare to have really high defense and really high health, or really high defense, really high strength, or just really high gear stats um in general but you could definitely customize it for them to be equalized so for example let's go here to my main character sub-zero as you can see he has 3000 strength which is really good he has 2000 defense which is you know average and then you have like a good amount of health which is 1300 but in return i have super low ability but again no one really uses the ability in versus mode you typically spend the meter for combos or attacks or to do extra damage so there we go um that was that all right so if you're wondering what are good what are like the best gear stats for my character well i'm gonna run them down for you right here so let's take supergirl for example um don't really have that many good loadouts for her Let's take Batman. Yeah, Batman has good loadouts. Okay. So let's take Batman. Now, the average defense should be around 2,000. That should be the average um, defense. The average health should be definitely around 1,000 to... Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Are you got I I didn't even know I what? Oh my god. I didn't even know this. I never checked my Batman gear stats because I never used Batman. Are you guys seeing this? 1921 health? Oh my god. 2400 defense and 2000 strength. Oh my god i could if i learned batman and go online <laughs> i could troll people so hard with batman oh my god 1900 okay okay let's relax here okay so this is a great example as what i was saying before that you can definitely have a high gear set like batman's health and have like average or good strength and defense see it's definitely possible it's just rare i didn't even know like i swear i didn't even know my batman had that much health oh my god okay as i was saying average defense is 2000 let's compare with my batman here average defense 2000 weak defense is anything that's below 2000 and then good defense is definitely anything um above 200 2100 um as you can see like my batman has really good defense now for health, um, I would say average is about 1,200, weak is anything, you know, below 1,200, and like really good is anything like from 1,300 above. As you can see, my Batman has 1,921 health, oh my god. Ability, um, I would say average is like 1,900 to 2,000, 
anything you know below 1,800 is pretty weak, and then anything above 2,000 is um, really strong for ability. Um, then we have strength. So the average strength is around 2,000. Anything below 2,000 or 2,000, well, no. Let me rephrase that. Good strength is around, well, average strength is around 2,500 to 2,400. Like, that's good, that's good strength. Um, weak strength is like anything below 2,300. Um, and then really good strength or like, the best strength possible is anything above 2,800, like 2,800 or above. That's really good strength. So there you guys have it. That's pretty much the average um, gear stats you should have on your characters if you want to perform the best as possible. Um, what else? Yeah, actually, I think that's pretty much it. Wow. So yeah, like I said, not too much of like a help, but I mean, I don't know it. For some people, this video helps. For some others, it doesn't just because, you know, like you probably already knew about this since, you know, the game has been out for a while now. But, uh, so yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Remember, if you want to get the best gear stats possible, what you have to do is just regenerate your gear. People, like, know about it, but they just don't do anything about it. Like, I guess they feel too lazy, and I'm not gonna lie, it is like a pain going through, um like all the gear like regenerating 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 getting the best gear possible it does take a while and it is kind of painful but i mean i guess it does um i guess it's worth it in the end right you get your nice gear you have a higher chance of winning online matches and yeah that's pretty much it all right guys well that's about all the time we have for today thank you so much for watching i really hope you enjoyed today's video and if you did could you go ahead and please leave a like down below and while you're doing that why don't you go ahead and click on that subscribe button for more amazing content like this and you know just you know as a, like a christmas present you might as well subscribe you know make me feel happy and while you're doing that why don't you go ahead and comment down below if this video was helpful to you or not and with that said, guys, I'll see you guys in the next video. This is Cody signing off. Goodbye.